guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i will be using products that are six dollars and under so let's jump right into it um some of the products that i used um i used these sponges it's a pack of three sponges from dollar general is three dollars fifty cents and it comes with three it has two of the green ones and this is like um it's a flat top but then it's like more longer perfect for contouring and then this one's a great like basic space sponge and they're very squishy i will be using the la colors truly matte foundation i purchased this actually from dollar general for four dollars and the shade that i have is soft beige concealer i will be using it's rimmel stay matte concealer this is 5.99 and this one i purchased at cvs for blush and bronzer, I will be using the e.l.f. bronzer and blush duo. This one, again, is $4. I'm pretty sure I put that in my last video. I will be using is LA Colors. This is Shape It Up. It's Sculpt and Contour. It is $4. And I purchased this from Dollar General as well. Okay, so first things first, I will prime my face. My mirror is over here, so I'll be looking this way. I will be using the Essence Prime Plus Studio Pore Minimizing glow boosting and pore minimizing primer and I used this yesterday it's a very liquidy primer and it has a smell to it like a, a scent it's a very nice scent it's like like a mm, I feel like a face wash type of scent um, it does have pink clay and it's it is very nice it doesn't look oily whatsoever and I will be using my prime and setting spray as well Okay, let that sink in for a minute. I will go in with my LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. It does claim that it is long wearing high pigment foundation, and this one is in soft beige. I know that they have a lot of shades online. I haven't seen I didn't see that many in the store. I seen about maybe seven. It's a very thick. Cool. It's like a, um, a moussey type of thickness. I like it. So we will go ahead and apply it. Perfect. Oh, gosh. With the ones that like are completely sealed and you can't test, you're kind of like just taking a guess. Oh my goodness. I was spot on with that one, which is rare. I'm always like... A shade off. I'm always, always the shade off. Very, very pretty. And it doesn't have a bad smell to it. It blends very well. I love it. And the shade is a great match for me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And if you are my shade, a soft beige is really good. Um, so definitely just, you know, if you're not sure, because sometimes when you look at the container like this shade, just look at the bottom. Look at the bottom because it lets you know. And you can, I kind of compared it with my, because I'm like, okay, it has to be a tad bit lighter. You know? Oh my gosh, my hand looks so pale on camera. Okay, in person, it's it's a tad, it's like the same. <laughs> it's a tad bit darker. Okay, concealer time. So I will be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer. This one is in shade Vanilla. I really enjoy using this one. It's a very, it's not like completely matte. It's a soft matte finish. And 
it doesn't dry like super quickly. So next we will go in and I will start working on the contour, blush, bronzer, all that stuff. We will go in with the Alec colors and I actually will mix these two together. Then I will go in with blush. Ah! Okay, then I'll be going in with a blush and bronzer. And then I'll be using the e.l.f. one. Same brush. And blush I'll be using just like my powder one. So then I will apply my highlighter, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow, and I'll just go in with my finger and apply. And if you're wondering about the shade, this one is in shade I'm So Lit. I am so off today. And after that, I will be using and start doing my eyes, do my eyebrows. This takes time. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. I have everything on. Um, just real quick, what I use uh, for my eyebrows is my elf brow pencil which is two dollars this one is in espresso dark brown something like that it's the darkest one because so i always like to go darker with my eyebrows and for eyeshadow i use actually this is from color story cool nudes and look at the nudes it has a nice range of a matte and shimmer colors you actually can purchase this at buy below for four dollars I used the nude shade for all over the lid, and then I went with the shimmery one, the shimmery gold one on the outside of my lid. Just kept it super simple. For the liner, I used the LA Girl in Gel Liner. This one is in very black. It is $3.99 at CVS. And for my under my bottom waterline, I used the Essence. It is Essence Extreme Lasting Waterproof Eye Pencil. This one is in nude. It's $2.99. You can purchase it at Ulta, CVS, wherever you can find Essence. Mascara that I used is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. This one is in waterproof, very black. It's a waterproof formula. Again, it's like the only one that can hold my curl. As lips, I used in the Milani lip liner. This one is number three nude and it's just a basic lip pencil. And color statement lip liner. This is number three. And I believe it is $4.99. I know it is less than six dollars. I will go ahead and set with the setting spray and just let you know how everything goes. So again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I wanted to definitely, you know, use everything $6 and under. I wanted to just let people know you can use great products if you're on a budget. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching.